Lakers steals Game 1 at Chase Center to start off the Western Conference semifinals. It's been almost five years since James and Curry faced off in a seven-game series. James and Curry shared four NBA Finals with Cleveland Cavaliers winning once. Lakers win with 117-112 to after Jordan Poole missed a 40-foot three-point shot with 10 seconds remaining which could have put the game in overtime. Between Curry, Thompson, and Poole combined to score 73 points. Curry had 27 on 10 of 24 shooting 41.7% and Thompson finished with 25 on 9 of 25 shooting 36% while Poole scored 21 points on 7 of 15 attempts 46.7%. Through the first three quarters, Curry only had 13 points, he mostly played off ball. Curry then dropped 14 in the fourth quarter where he was the primary ball handler, but his slow start proved costly. In the first quarter alone, Davis put up 14 points. What followed was just the beginning. The Lakers star center played 44 minutes. He scored 30 points on 11 of 19 shooting. Davis grabbed 23 rebounds, and he also had 4 of the Lakers' 10 blocks. Also adding 5 assists, Davis became the second player ever to have 30 or more points, 20 or more rebounds, 5 or more assists, and 3 or more blocks in a playoff game. The first to do so was Tim Duncan. Warriors center Kevin Looney had 23 rebounds, however, Draymond Green's quick foul problems were a drawback. In the first half, the Warriors went 13 of 30 on 3-pointers. The Lakers were just one of eight, giving the Warriors a 36-point advantage from long distance. Overall, the Warriors went 21 of 53 on three-pointers 39.6%. The Lakers were 6 of 25 on 24% shooting, with the Warriors having a 60-point advantage. However, the Lakers dominated the paint scored 54 points inside, 26 more than the Warriors' 28. Part of the Warriors' game plan was letting James shoot open threes only making one of eight attempts in Game 1. James is averaging 19.5% from deep versus the Memphis Grizzlies and 32.1% in regular season. James played 40 minutes, 22 points, 9 of 24 field goals, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 blocks, 4 turnovers. Free throws also played a major factor. The Lakers averaged the most free throws in the NBA this season, and the Warriors averaged the fewest. The discrepancy couldn't have been more obvious. Golden State didn't shoot a free throw until Poole converted a three-point play 38 seconds before halftime. The Warriors trailed 65-64 to at intermission after a first half with 11 lead changes. Hoping to bounce back in Game 2, how can the Warriors prevent the disparity between the free throws attempts with Reeves, Schroeder, and Russell's flopping and foul baiting? Like, comment and subscribe to the channel for daily Golden State Warriors content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with new videos.